Greetings everyone and uh, welcome to another session of Church IV School. Today I'm delighted to introduce a close friend and fellow batchmate from IIM Rifle, Shan Banik. So Shan brings uh, with him a wealth of experience and he has spent three years at TCS Digital before embarking on his current journey with Essential Technology for his SIP. So during our conversation today, Shine will provide insights into the time at IIMR and he'll shed lights on various aspects such as programs offered, campus life and the fee structure. So it promises to be an enriching uh, discussion. So let's get started. Shine, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thank you for having me. I should be the one thanking you. <laughs> yeah. So could you please describe your experience during your first year at Tripur and highlight the high happiest moment there? Uh, well, if I start counting the happy moments, I'll be learning out of numbers. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, I am Raipur has fairly given me a whole new dimension of uh, what these schools are. And I'm truly loving it. Every day spent in the campus is a day cherished, of course. Uh, it's always on the run. We're always on the go, be it classes, be it other activities. I'm loving it, basically. Okay, fine. So I know that you converted all the cap IMs. You have al also converted IM Udaipur. How did you make the choice? Why Raipur? Why did you choose that? What were the factors that you considered? Okay, so uh, since you mentioned Udaipur, uh, Udaipur happened at a very later stage. Uh, I had already converted all the cap calls apart from Udaipur. Uh, so initially when I was deciding, I was a bit dicey about Trichy and uh, Raipur. But then I had to further break it down in terms of what do I want to do further. And I did not want to do finance. So that was a very clear uh, choice there. Apart from that, I believe uh, since Raipur is a closer city uh, from my hometown, which is Kolkata, that was another plus point for me. And also, I think uh, the fees and the overall cost that comes when you live in that city, that plays a major role, I believe, when you're making a choice and when you're finalizing your college. Yeah, and uh, when you converted Udaipur, I'm sure you had a lot of thoughts. So, how did you make the decision? Uh, good old memory. <laughs> so, uh, when Udaipur happened, uh, by that time, I was already preparing myself because I knew the numbers were going up and it would be any day, any moment that there will be a situation and I'll be in a dilemma. Uh, after that moment, since I had already prepared myself mentally about uh, going to Raipur, uh, I had gone through all the metrics that uh, I had with me back then. Uh, the numbers, the ROI, uh, again, as I mentioned, the city expense, all of this played major factors in uh, helping me decide. And by that time, I was very stern that I'll be going to Raipur and not to Daipur. Yeah. And uh, do you regret that decision or are you happy? Uh, no, not at all. I do not regret that decision. It's been a very fair ride here in Raipur and I'm loving it, as I said. Great. So moving on to academics, could you pre uh, please provide more details on the credit point system, the range of subjects that are offered, and what kind of teaching methodologies are employed here? So uh, speaking about the academics, uh, we are uh, down three semesters, and these semesters have subjects with some subjects are uh, full credit subjects, full credit as if they have 20 points, credit points, and the half credit come with uh, 10 credit points. And it is a mixture of both. Uh, usually you come across a realm of subjects varying from HR to finance to everything. Talk about business communication, be it corporate finance. You could, you could excel in everything basically. And I'm pretty sure by the end of at least first year, I believe uh, presentation skills, speaking skills, uh, these are things you'll be working mostly on and yeah so to add on just to his point uh, the grading system is as follows like we have presentations we have quizzes there are assignments projects and uh, your life is going to be very hectic here but you know even half credit points they follow the same thing so here when you come you'll have uh, nights where you just have to work on your presentations and uh, do projects uh, engage in discussions with your peers and you know bring out more uh, lively discussions ahead in the classroom and one more thing when it comes to credits, uh, with full course, you can maximum let go of four attendances and with half grades, that's a maximum of two, after which grades cut starts happening. 
Exactly. So full credit courses, they have 20 sessions and half credit course, they are of 10 sessions. So after four uh, absence, you'll lose a grade and it actually happens. So again, you'll have to be very, uh, uh, you cannot just, you know, lose uh, on your grade so easily. So uh, in second years, you'll have to choose electives. So uh, Shan, can you tell me what are the criteria uh, one typically considers before uh, choosing electives and what is the system here? Uh, I'll speak about the bidding round that we went through and what are all what the prerequisites we needed to meet. And uh, usually it requires you to, like usually when the grades come, you know, people are segregated in three categories. And based on that, according to grades, of course, and according to that, some points are given and these are the points with which you will be bidding forward so this year uh, there were three again as i said three criterias and apart apart from that you get your uh, entire sheet of electives that you want to have uh, you strategize accordingly with whatever grade points you have and yeah that's all about it okay and could you please talk more about the fee structure uh, this year, I think it's around 18 lakhs and this is uh, excluding mess fees and all of that. Mess fees usually revolves around 15 to 22,000. Uh, that's per semester. Yeah. All right. Uh, so moving ahead, can you talk about the student exchange program at IAM Rapper? Oh, I believe the student exchange program is a very fair advantage if I had to compare with other colleges back then when I was residing. Uh, it has some really good colleges to offer. The international relations are really nice. Uh, Alba B School in uh, Greece, I think, and uh, ISM in Germany, uh, Y Schools in France, uh, HHL in Germany again. These are some very renowned uh, schools that you usually go to if you offer uh, student exchange programs. Also, uh, there's a catch. You'll have to have a minimum of seven CGPA for you to be eligible for student exchange programs. All right. Uh, and again, as he mentioned, uh, among all the new IMs, uh, IM Bradford has the best student exchange program. So if you are someone who's looking for this, definitely consider Rapport. And here, all the audience here, they have converted the cap calls and uh, they are deciding I'm Udaipur versus Trichy, Rapport, Kashipur. So I hope this is one of the factors you uh, consider. A major factor, I mean. Yeah. And could you please talk about the clubs and committees? Oh, they are numerous. I'll say numerous. It all almost caters to almost every passion that one can have. Uh, Mantra, it's a marketing club. Uh, there's Arthniti, an economic economic people for, who are interested in economics can go there. There's a club which intrigued me in the beginning. That's Pixel. Uh, mm -hmm. You get to showcase your skills of photography and videography, and you kind of contribute towards the college. Uh, these are the clubs. These are the few clubs. There is also a sports club. Apart from this, uh, there are a lot of committees. Uh, first and mess committee, academic committee, alumni committee. And a of course, place, place com. There's that. And a lot of other committees as well. So could you and describe your uh, CNC recruitment time, CNC's clubs and committees? So could you please describe uh, your experience there? Oh, it was hectic. Uh, just when you uh, start feeling that you have settled in after a lot of hustle in and an, I am that's when it starts just when you feel okay now the hustle stops now I can you know sit back and relax that's when it starts and it's a day night process you will be simultaneously giving interviews for almost all clubs and committees that you've applied for in the very same day you'll have to have different portfolios for different clubs and committees you'll be attending uh three to four interviews in every three, four hours. That's how it goes. Like when we started, we used to have uh, these things, uh, CNC recruitments going on from the morning till night. So yeah, that was one good part about it. Yeah. And I remember I missed uh, three to four committee chances just because I was chasing one committee. I'm not going to disclose the name. But yeah, so again, you have to strategize here as well. That you have to, of course. Yeah. And uh, can you tell me what can one do to just build their CV? Okay. So usually when you get into your college, uh, summer placement comes in very quickly. By the time you realize it's already knocking on your door. Uh, I would uh, segregate it in terms of 
freshers and people who come with experience. Uh, freshers, I would say, if they have a certain goal about where do they want to go, a certain domain, I'll suggest them to get certifications that help them, you know, have a chance, have a fair chance to get shortlisted in that particular domain. Apart from that, case competitions. A lot of case competitions help you uh, get there. And with WorkX people, I think, um, again, certifications do help because uh, when it comes to management, management roles are way different than what you have been through already. So, yeah, certifications mostly help. All right. And uh, now we can just take a few doubts from our audience because they have been waiting for a while now. Uh, so you can just unmute yourself, raise your hand, unmute yourself and ask him. We have one in chat box. IT walo ko kaha milta hai shortlist SIP mein. Again, for the companies, you can check the placement report. Uh, I like to answer that not in specific details, of course, but I'll since I also come from an IT background, uh, I have a 33 months of work experience in TCS, TCS Digital. So yeah, I do get your point about IT. It always depends on where do you want to be. If of course, uh, having an IT background in your CV helps you get shortlisted for IT companies, for tech consultant roles, all of that does happen. But apart from that, say if you want to make a shift to a certain domain, which is not technology, which is not IT, in that due process, you'll have to have something that makes you stand out. Only then it ensures that you have a chance to, you know, get shortlisted. Yeah, right. Anyone else? You can just uh, raise your hand. Okay, there is one more question in chat box. Should we repeat uh, if you want to make career in consulting or is it possible from the new IELTS? It is, of course, possible. Uh, it is fairly possible. And about, uh, see, it's a very uh, personal uh, thing about, you know, taking a year again and preparing all of that. I was in a situation like that, of course, because uh, I did not get a chance to give any mocks, nothing. So I was in a situation where I was kind of preparing myself uh, in order if I did not convert colleges, but luckily I did. So, yeah. Yeah. And again, as you mentioned, it depends on now what circumstances you are in. Like if you can afford a drop and you just want to target APC, then again, it's up to you because uh, there will be uh, some difference, but uh, you can get opportunities from new IMs as well. They are doing very good and uh, you can see the growth. I would suggest weighing your options, uh, check in both your positives and negatives and then make a rational decision out of it. Because the environment is very dynamic and it constantly keeps evolving, constantly changes. So you never know. There's no pattern as such. What worked yeah. for you this year might not work for you the next year. So please weigh in your uh, chances and then take a rational decision. Yes. And uh, Udaipur versus Raipur, which one to choose? Uh, okay. So, uh, again, you'll have to be more specific uh, about where do you want to be. Operations, marketing, these are domains that intrigue me and that is why I chose Raipur. And these are the academic upfronts that I am uh, speaking about. Apart from that, the cost, uh, because anyway, MBA is a huge uh, effect on your pockets. So the city cost, all of that comes into play. So you weigh in all of these things that you make a decision. So yeah, as you mentioned, finance, if you are pursuing finance, then Richie is really good at it. The roles are also good. If you want to have a career in operations or marketing, right for consulting, but therefore is doing pretty great. So you can, uh, you it again depends on your personal choice. So you, if you have more clarity on the specialization that you want to pursue, this decision will be easier for you. Uh, so Anjali also has a doubt uh, about the wait list. See, these are very unpredictable. And uh, what happened the last year, the same trend might not uh, be followed. So just good luck. And we hope that she converts the one. So Rahul asked for the SIP interviews, graduation subjects, uh, do they matter or not? Well, uh, if you are a fresher, you might get uh, a few questions from for uh, subjects from graduation, of course. And you'll have to be, even if not well-versed, you'll have to know what you did back then. Right. So that helps. 
and again the subjects that you cover in your first uh, first two terms you get may or majorly you get questions from there as well so what kind of things should one consider before getting a loan from bank shine uh <laughs> okay so of course uh, the interest rate all of that <laughs> it is i feel uh, every everyone tries to get as low of a loan as possible and when you are deciding based on economic factors you'll have to go through a lot of several things the roi of the college and if the expense you you're going to have in that city for the next 2 years is worth and if you're going to manage you personal finances already all of that comes into play unfortunately both of us uh, we did not take loan so also yeah, every not, year this one i guess <laughs> every b school they have a tie up with the bank so that is most preferred one so you can just check out that bank so aritra asks what kind of certifications helps in operations uh come again what kind of certifications help in uh, help during sip when it comes to operations okay so operations has a lot of certifications available i'll start with the very basic and i think most people know even if you guys not it is uh, six sigma six sigma certification surely helps apart from that you could do a certification on warehouse management systems and uh, supply chain management system these are few certifications that will uh, give you an edge i believe right and rahul asks what are the certification for marketing well uh, a very dicey question i believe because marketing as such requires uh, last moment uh, critical thinking i believe uh, of course marketing has a lot of structure into it and uh, there is no certification that will certainly help you out i believe that's what i have seen at least it's all about how you think how you vision it how you present it in that particular time that helps you right and if you have nothing in on your cv and you of course need something for your cv to get shortlist so try for internships and live projects in marketing certifications usually they won't help so mm -hmm. live project is something that you have to look for uh, so ratnesh has raised his hand for quite long time so i please ratnesh unmute yourself and uh, you can ask your query okay i guess not so bhavesh says that uh, if we get ppo in sip then we can't sit for final placements well no there is no like there every p school has a different uh, criteria so it depends on the kind of ppo you get uh, it's not fully correct there are a lot of uh, criteria after which a decision is taken so yeah does college bring in certifications or student have uh, to go on uh, about it by themselves see in our college uh, like uh, if there are different clubs as uh, he has mentioned there is marketing finance consulting so they try to bring uh, certification opportunities live project opportunities uh, cfa also is something that the uh, finance club they have scholarship exams for this so there are a lot of opportunities that uh, even the campus they try to bring bring at, at a much cheaper cost or um, you know so like even the six sigma certification is uh, provided by the clubs so definitely or you get a lot of support from the campus also i'd like to add uh, to sanjana's point here these clubs and committees also organize a lot of events and when you participate and eventually maybe brag a certificate that also helps because you write it in your cvs and it showcases your participation and your knack towards that particular field uh anjali about the last year moment uh, we have uploaded a youtube video please check that so ratnish you can ask your doubt in the chat box if you are unable to unmute yourself um, um, i think the settings just changed okay um hi um actually i just wanted to know about the sip process like by when would the cvs be finalized and is there like a master cv that we make and then a separate one for every domain that we might want to enter or do we only have to like make one cv that would be going in all the companies okay so well it uh, 
actually depends on what your college asks you to do i'll be and apart from that i'll suggest uh, start working on your cv the moment you get into your college because again as i mentioned it's very rapid and you will barely get time to you know by the time you know it's already on your doors yeah within 2 months uh, your cv is logged and for sip you might have one and uh, for fp uh, depending upon the b school there are uh, options mm-hmm. you can have separate for different specializations so do new iims provide general mba degree like older iims or do they have specialization mentioned so see uh, uh, okay yeah, you can answer so i believe this confusion is regarding uh, uh, the electives that usually people take in the second year so what i am raipur offers is a general mba degree you do get to select uh, electives as we mentioned as as we talked about and there you get to choose the subjects you want to uh, focus more on all right so the uh, every i am they provide core mba so there is no for specialization in first year you are going to learn everything right from hr finance consulting uh, operations everything and in second year you can choose uh, two or three specializations according to your need and it is a core mba program so vishal says that he has a cv with a uh, 16 month of work experience in finance and uh, average grade score in economics so should he worry about uh, sip well you just mentioned that you have uh, 16 months of work experience in finance so yeah that all like if i have to compare with someone who comes from an it background you do have a fair edge over that person when it comes to at least finance companies that are coming to your college so yeah there is that apart from that do well in your college uh, get into uh, things that help you uh, get more points regarding finance that should do right anushka again asks uh, why did you choose raipur over trichy and udaipur okay so as i said uh, trichy and raipur this decision was very easy for me because i did not want to do finance at all mm-hmm. so i go of trichy there only udaipur was a very last minute convert for me by that time i had already made up my mind for raipur not just that apart from that as i mentioned uh, the fees and the roi uh, raipur was doing fairly good back then up uh, and uh, the fees and the city expense all of this coming to play when you are deciding so yeah yeah also you can just consider what kind of you can refer to the placement report what kind of companies do they visit and when you see uh, there are similar kind of companies that visit the three campuses yeah. mm-hmm. so it doesn't make a very huge difference uh, just choose uh, which role and uh, if you have any dream company just check in their report if it visits the campus they will definitely open doors uh, to your you know more opportunities so bhavesh asks what kind of things work as cv proof so as you are uh, as you have uh, work experience what all things are re- uh, generally required uh, uh, that are considered for proof okay so usually whatever work you have done will be verified uh, from the manager that you have worked with of course all of that happens and then only a cv is final a cv pointer is finalized and then only you can have it on your cv that is what happens with work ex so yeah apart from that basically everything that you uh, give into your cv you will have to have proof of that oh uh, can you describe something about the campus life the campus life is very happening i would say uh, it's like uh, talking about amenities it has a sports complex where you can play td badminton go to the gym uh, there's a pool you can do swimming there uh, we have a very good mess and all apart from that a lot of other uh, you know food stalls all of that and something or the other keeps happening in the college almost every day every alternate day something or the other is happening and you'll never you know just sit and get bored or anything of that sort you'll always be in the rush you'll always be here and there jumping from one occasion to another one event to another so the campus life is pretty happening i believe okay and uh, should it be a factor that one must consider before making a choice well uh you know what students who messaged me that uh, the factors i'm considering is campus life student exchange and location okay so yeah you will experience the best part of your life eventually when you come to a b school 
and almost every B school, if all all B schools, I believe all B schools have a very happening uh, campus life. There's that. My one year of experience in I am Raipur has been fascinating, and I have cherished every single day. So yeah. All right. So uh, any more doubts? Uh, what are your views on uh, courses from MDI HR, IIM Indore HR, and MBA core from New IIMs? So, uh, if we choose a HR course, then uh, are there any ways to pivot to other di uh, domains? You can make shifts to other domains eventually, even if you start. Like, what is it about? Is it about final placements or getting into the college? So uh, she has, con I believe that she has, sorry, he has converts from MDI HR and uh, Indoor HR in program uh, and not sure if they want to join HR. So should they choose HR because MDI really has a good program, uh, Indoor as well. Uh, so they are of obviously the bigger tags. So should set should uh, that person settle for our HR or uh, try new IM score program? See, if it is solely based on if you can switch going further in your career, you can always switch. Does not matter which background do you come from. You can shift from marketing to finance. You can shift from HR to marketing. All of that can happen. So if you are making a decision solely based on the assumption that you cannot shift, that is not the case. Also, but if you're not sure about the HRM program, uh, I would say consider uh, the core program of new IMs because definitely you can shift, but that path is going to be very difficult. And uh, at least for the initial few years, you're going to be uh, you know, in that domain only. Mm -hmm. How tough are the examinations or is it uh, really easy to maintain a CGPA? I think almost all examinations I've given through my entire lifetime have been tough for me. So this really does not make a huge change for me here. So even finance, that is open book, yet, uh, you know, that's not, uh, you know, open books are not, they are uh, the biggest scam, not scam, but <laughs> it, it doesn't really help. So yeah, examinations, obviously they are, if you are in, at an IIM, the examinations are going to be tough. It is very difficult to maintain CGPA because uh, we follow relative grading. So if you are above the class average, then good for you. If not, then your grades are going to be really hard and that's going to affect your chance of student exchange program as well. Uh, okay, we'll just wait a minute if anyone has uh, any more doubts. Else we can close the session. Uh, okay, specific domains uh, that I am Raipur is good at. Marketing and operations are the major advantages I am Raipur has to provide it. Yeah. Yeah. IT roles, again, placement report. Everything is clearly mentioned. You can refer to the I am Raipur corporate relations LinkedIn page. Hmm. A fair amount of information available there about placements. Yeah. Anything else that you want to add? Uh, I would like to congratulate everyone here because, of course, first step towards MBA. It's done and, you know, MBA life is almost here. Uh, enjoy this time and enjoy the time you'll have on your campuses. Okay, I, I have a different view. Please don't enjoy this time. Do internships. Do life projects. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, once you enter a B school, there is nothing you can do. Whatever you want to do, this is the right time. You'll run short of time once you're in a B school. Yeah. And uh, okay, then we can uh, end the session. Thank you. Okay, there is one more. I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry. Is being fluent in English necessary for survival at a B school? Eventually, you'll have to be a well-spoken person, I believe. Because again, uh, management rules require that you are after a point required and supposed to present yourself and when you are presenting your speaking skills matter so yeah and even if you do not have such a strong hold on this particular language you will get to have that like hold when once you come to these schools see in every uh, fourth or fifth session if you have to present something 
you'll work on your communication skills and it will get uh, better eventually so you don't have to worry about it but how good communication skills are important uh, do not feel shy to face camera or you know uh, i guess don't have more self doubts be open to new things and uh, you'll have a lot of opportunities to explore at an mba so don't miss out on those opportunities and eventually you'll get better true and one really does not need to worry about uh, you know learning the language because again as sanjana mentioned almost every fourth or fifth session you have you'll have to give a presentation where you have to speak in front of the entire class you eventually start uh, slow reluctant but after a point you will not realize that you have you know acquired that skill yeah all right thank you so much shine for joining us and uh, i'm sure um, many of uh, these students will message you on linkedin and i hope you don't mind that i do not i do not <laughs> all right uh, it was my pleasure to host you tonight and thank you again for joining uh, it was a lovely session thank you for having me <laughs>